majority of people saying, oh, uh, the Africans don't like you, and they are so mean, they don't this, this, and that, and don't go there. If you go there, they won't like you. It's all, it's, it's all myth. So, <coughs> last month when I spoke, I said, in this world, there are bad seed in everything, and there are good seed in everything. So there are good Africans, there are good white people, there are good black people, and there are bad black people, there are bad black Africans, and there are bad white. Now, nobody is perfect, but you get good ones out of it to pick. So if you're lucky to get a good one, you can tell when somebody is fake. Now I no doubt about that. So I'm here today to talk about everybody's problem, why you took the bus in this cold weather to come here to talk to me. Mm -hmm. So that next time you can tell a friend just to come and listen to me because I'm going to preach. I don't have to be a preacher, pastor to preach. You can preach when you preach about good stuff. You can preach when uh, you, you give something to somebody where they can think about it or where they can sit and say, hmm. Or they sit in the past and say, hmm, I remember what this person told me. Today I told Teddy when we were coming, I said, Teddy, come on. In Africa, we give assurance. In America, you guys give insurance. So she said, oh, mommy, that's good. I'm going to keep it in my ear. I said, that's true, you know. So everything is, I'm going to see her. But it's the goodness of things. I said, back home, the teachers, when you teach after the end of the year, everybody will bring fruit, plantain, everything to the teachers for what they've done for their children, just to appreciate taking care of their children. But over here, mm, you know, teachers are just nothing. You can't even, I, I tell people, I say, I don't want to be a teacher in this country, and I don't want to be a daycare person in this country. It's too much. So I'm going to call upon somebody I met um, last year, Nick Mika. And um, she came to the shop just like every other person. And she didn't know me from Adams. She just wanted to hear, trust me to come and have her head done. So she came and talking to her. Normally, when I see the hair, it's like a medium. The head talk to me and tell me, talk, tell her this, this, this what she, she's abusing the hair. Right? You know, you're abusing the head. The head said, she's tired of you. You know, even in the morning, you're not taking care of it. Talk. It's like, I see the hair, I can tell you right away the abuse you've been taking, giving to the hair. That's all it is, the skin. So many things we do, and we don't even know we're doing it. And I tell people, I said, how much do you all charge for haircut and shampoo? 60, 65? I say, yeah, okay, thanks. But, oh, my phone is getting out of juice. My minutes are <laughs> going bad. I need to get some minutes on my phone. Yeah, then you will get money to go and get minutes on your phone. You will get money to get to pay your light bill, because it's ready to cut off. You're ready to pay your uh, gas, anything. But when it comes to the body that takes care of you, we're always reluctant to take care of it. And I tell people, I said, I don't care about everything I do here because the only thing I do well is I take good care of my body. I eat very good. Whatever the body tells me, that's what I eat because that's the only thing I take with me. The rest I'll leave it behind to you all as a remembrance. So one thing you should realize is there's nothing you take with you except the body, even the soul, the spirit, your children. Back home when people die, a mommy dies, we all cry on the floor, throw our side, they say, you hurt you. I say, no, 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 I'll go with her, I'll go with her. When we get to the cemetery and they see the six feet hole ready to put in, 
They said, Mommy, remember us when you go. Don't forget us. Nobody jumped in there with you. <laughs> you go by yourself. <laughs>